Hey everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about all Fantasy Star Online games on the GameCube. Fantasy Star Online is an MMO before online multiplayer games were mainstream. You can play the whole game in single player, but it isn't as fun as playing with friends like it was intended. If you play the game alone, it will feel repetitive and very dull at some point, but with friends it's totally different. Also the more players there are, the more loot enemies drop and enemies drop more valuable loot when there are more players present. So if you want to have it easier, play it with friends, like the developers intended the game to be played. The story in the game is that you go on a rescue mission on a planet called Rogul. It's nice that there are 11 different environments in the game and each time you return to one, the assets in the level slightly render different, so that the maps won't be the same every time you visit an area. There are three classes to choose from in the game, Hunters, which are close combat, Rangers, which are long rangers, and Force, which are mages that deal magical attacks. Combat is super basic in all of the classes, you have an attack button. You attack, that's about all the strategy in the combat. Oh, and you need to step away to get some distance between you and enemies, and then launch the attack sequence. So, it's basically, keep your distance, press attack. Keep your distance, press attack, that's the whole strategy in the combat. It's bare bones, but it's fun when you play with friends. Also because if someone dies during a battle the team is unaffected, the community is very positive. It's, it's not frustrating when someone dies. Everyone's there to kill some monsters and have fun. Nobody will yell at you because you disappointed them or that you brought disgrace on your team. Everyone gains experience and loot individually. The positive part is that the more players are in a place, the higher the loot per player and the higher the chance for enemies to drop better items. Also you can't control the camera. You can center it behind the character with a button but that's it, you can't control the camera. You can play the game in local split screen too, up to 4 players can play like that, or you can play the game via private network. The servers for the game are shut down, but there is still a small community playing online from all over the world, which is great. So overall, if you want to replay the first ever MMO game for a console, play this one. It's history and it's great. MMOs on consoles started on the right foot. And Fantasy Star Online Episode 3 is a great game. Problem is, it's not the Fantasy Star game as people got to know it, and because of that, it got bad reviews. It's a card game. Yep, after two episodes of MMORPG greatness that was fun to play and is responsible for so many great memories, the company decided to make a card game this time. It has online functionality too, but it, it doesn't work the same. Imagine playing GTA as a card game, or Need for Speed as a card game. It ruins the fun. But the gameplay itself is fun and has depth. If it was a standalone title called something else than Fantasy Star Online, it would have had better scores by reviewers. Anyway, the game is a card strategy game. There are 12 characters to choose from, the classes from the previous two episodes actually, and each character has special abilities. You can link up multiple cards to deal extra damage, the game has strategy and depth, also there are two story arcs to play as, and if you complete both, if you play any of the two again, you unlock the true ending of the game. So overall, both games are good, but Fantasy Star 1 and 2, even if it might be rough around the edges and will feel dated for today's standards, it's still a super fun game to play with friends. Sure, it's monotonous and bare bones compared to today's MMOs, still it's fun to play and it makes me happy to see that the first online multiplayer game released on consoles is still running even if the official servers are down.